Hey guys, welcome to another serving of food for thought. Of course, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so I encourage you to take with us and leave the rest. However, if this resonates or you just so happen to like this reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into the energy of the cards here, Holy Spirit. What is the message here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the reading, the message? Someone is in deep reflection about the memories, but there is also gossip. Someone's kind of confused about how something ended with you, but someone knows it was their fault. There's regret. Yet this energy is not expressing a lot of remorse. Someone feels like they destroyed a dream or affected something deep with you. And now they could be closed off. Emotionally unavailable. Avoidant. This energy is still not speaking out or this energy is still not focused on the right thing when it comes to speaking to you or bringing something out. This energy is still holding on to something, not willing to express what they're feeling, what they're thinking. In fact, this energy is in silent mode possibly giving you the silent treatment this is immature behavior of someone being passive aggressive this is someone who has a lot of guilt for the past but they're still not acknowledging things or situations that they had their hand in things that are definitely their fault this energy is in silently trying to keep something a mystery but i feel it's causing more drama setbacks confusion Within a connection, a strong bond that could have been stronger. Yet this energy made a lot of sacrifices. There's a lot of disappointing news or a whirlwind of emotions when dealing with this energy who is misguided or is in misdirection in some type of way. This is someone who is confused about their path, their future. A lot of bad decisions. Someone didn't make the right judgment call by playing mind games with you. Deceiving, trying to outsmart you in some type of way. Someone is intentionally not being clear. In fact, this is someone who is doing things that they know are forbidden. This is why they're closed off. Someone is closed off to something that they know that is forbidden. But I also feel someone is playing mind games when it comes to a forbidden truth. I feel there could be lessons to be learned here. Lessons to be learned through trial and error. Someone is realizing how right you were or someone is realizing how distorted their choices are yet this energy is still going down the wrong path when it comes to not revealing a truth or not being clear about what they seek someone's not being mature about an apology and they're still allowing it to burden them i feel the burden of judgment is also because because becoming something that they want to let go of someone is writing journaling or making a commitment to something that they will soon regret there's a lot of disorder in this energy's life disorder chaos turmoil disruption there's no peace there's a lot of difficult times for someone who is truly mesmerized by an empress energy Someone wants to write you a letter. So I feel like this doesn't have to be in letter form. This could be in message form in like a text message. Someone doesn't want to be face to face. Someone's truly broken hearted about something, but they still haven't confessed to you. I feel like this energy is chaotic mentally. They don't want you to give up on their energy, but I feel somehow, some way this energy has let their mind get the best of them. I feel like they're bound, tied to something. And for some of you, they're coming up short. Someone's coming up empty when it comes to finances. They're now realizing what they invested in was a complete fail. 
there's a lot of secrets here with the moon card and i also feel there's a lot of emotion but i also feel there's something about to take place in divine timing when it comes to lust secrets and codependent ways even a cycle that they're continuing to repeat because they're superficial someone's superficial and not deeply rooted in what should make them more secure about self in fact i feel they're just going deeper into the darkness not realizing their true potential Food for not Dr. opening Carol their third eye is going to be hazard in this situation but i also feel it may lead to a truth or even a confession someone needs to tell you something that they know will bring some type of emotion or some type of harsh ending possibly even a final nail in the coffin but someone doesn't want you to feel a certain way about them let's get some more energy here holy spirit what is the message someone doesn't want you to feel this way but i feel like what's done is done someone is going through some type of illness or shortcomings someone could be in poor health something is blocked this could be temporary problems as well. Someone was weak to, but I also feel this is an unhealthy atmosphere that's causing something to stand still. This is a long journey for a lot of you. A long journey of familiar situations with someone who is always doing something distorted, not telling the truth, and still not learning lessons from it. This is a close bond, a connection that you once have with someone who is still not seeing a truth still not understanding something that is about to become clear to them through some very harsh ways someone is being very mysterious with you but i also feel this mysterious energy is coming from a sense of loss and abandonment this is someone who has pulled some type of disappearing act this energy is coming out as a thief in the night this is someone who does a lot of things out of impulse. And for some of you, this energy moves around in the nighttime, like really did some sneaky things to um, get away or get away with something. This is a main male energy here that is in despair about their poverty or lack mindset. This is murky thoughts. These are deep thoughts when it comes to a household, something they should have been rooted in security, family, home, possessions, safety. Now someone is deep in their thoughts, possibly even losing hope in what they're looking at. This is past life energy here. Someone you once held in high honor who is now thinking about life in a different way. But I also feel there's a lot of financial loss, strain. Someone is down on their luck here. This is also someone with a scarce mindset and a bad position in life. This is connected to a male energy who is going through a lot of change and it's been a long road, an unhealthy road where someone has done a lot in the past. Hmm. This is someone who has been removed from your energy or someone you're trying to remove from your energy. But they're coming up missing after you've given a lot of support, a lot of energy, a lot of love. Someone is still misdirected, still misguided when it comes to love. There was no success when it comes to affairs of the heart with this energy. I feel whatever they did to make something toxic became routine. Someone routine, wow. Someone routinely told half truths, lies when they didn't have to. These are these are partial truths. It was really hard to get more information out of this energy because they were always being childish and causing harsh endings, tears. Whatever this is, is deeper than this energy is trying to put on. This family energy here uh, connected. And this family energy could also be other energies surrounding them. Surrounding the courtship that is now detached. Someone feels detached from a caregiver, a mature energy where the expectations have failed. Expectations have failed in a courtship or a close bond that never changed. This is why someone has this poverty mindset or this energy of despair. But I feel this routine became a daily task for a caregiver or someone who was always there to help. This energy turned out to be a false energy. 
a false person because of the energy or the attention they chose to seek. And as I said before, they're very immature about it. Immature about a bond or a marriage. Someone knows that you are a gift, but they're still seducing the wrong things in life. Temptations, pleasures, things they are choosing to attract instead of manifesting a better way with you. Someone thought that they were going to come up financially, yet now they are financially strained. They regret being false and they're in despair about it, but they're still hiding their shame. Someone is definitely thinking about a lot of things. This energy is reflecting. There's a lot of ideas, but I don't feel like this energy does a lot of planning from a, a an effective state of mind. They're thinking about who they allowed in their life. They're in despair about an enemy. It's, they're in despair about someone they now see as a rival, a frenemy, someone who is now uh, some type of competitor. They now see this energy as hostile. There's inner conflict about this energy, how they chose to trust this energy. There is a sense of revenge. Someone is trying to unlock something. When it comes to a main energy, they are looking at you as a sweetheart. They never, sh never should have broken the bond, the trust with you, because there is no good news. Someone's occupation has also been affected. Please take it how it resonates, but someone feels imprisoned by taking a loss. They're being judged. They're seeking counsel or some type of advice, but I feel like there's not a lot of positive advice here. Just a lot of sad news. A lot of sad news and no wish fulfillment here for someone who took a chance on you, who for used to be an three. official energy in your life. This is someone who took a lot of chances when it comes to the help that you gave. They made a lot of complaining um, complaints, but I feel it was only to go in a different direction or have an excuse to do the things that they do. We're going to get a little bit more energy from a different deck, of course. If you guys are enjoying this reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into the energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here for the collective energies? What are the cards here that best represent the reading, the message? Someone feels like they shouldn't have made something public when it comes to affairs of the heart. They shouldn't have gave in to the seduction of what was forbidden, the temptation. Hmm. Someone feels like they should have never given up what they had with you for what they have now. Someone wishes they knew then what they know now but I feel nothing has changed but someone's really reluctant to speak to you about what has happened someone knows that you were a lot of support you did a lot that you didn't have to do but this energy just didn't see it at the time hmm. goofy energy they're always being silly about something never taking something completely serious this energy has stepped out, never been loyal. Hmm. Someone's complaining about someone else's bad breath. I'm really not sure how that connects here, but someone is definitely um, having some hygiene issues, maybe stressed out, not really taking care of themselves. Someone feels like they're in a rivalry. There's animosity, there's competition. Someone didn't see something. Someone was being petty with you. They now see how you are mature about a situation to step back because now they see. They see the rivalry, they see the animosity, they see how petty someone is and they see how narrow-minded they truly was by throwing shade at you, being resentful towards you or being callous. Someone was big-headed and unapologetic about it because they thought that they were going to come out of this in a different light. But I feel their misguided ways of being lost to these pipe dreams only left them in a space where their destination is going nowhere. I feel like this is someone who did something unapologetically because they thought they couldn't fail. They thought they knew everything. 
Yet I feel like this is someone who was being vain for the attention. Yet I feel they should have upgraded their friends. Yet I feel like they pretend they never threw something away as if it was trash. But something was recorded. Someone is embellishing a story and being ratchet about the truth. Someone knows that you won't forgive them or it'll be hard to get back in position. And they are really upset about it. Someone is having some self-harm thoughts here. That is not for everyone here, but someone knows they won't be forgiven and they're playing the sympathy card here. This is someone who has the Munchausen syndrome when it comes to faking for sympathy. But I feel something is like a ticking time bomb when it comes to someone's choices. Bad company energy of someone who is an accessory to something. Someone is wanting to point out it's me and you. Don't forget, you know, someone is pointing it out like, don't forget what you did. I'll, so, like, someone is telling someone that someone's going to tell the truth. Like, someone is threatening someone. And someone is definitely faking the funk, being phony here. If something is going on behind the scenes. Someone's trying to keep it quiet. And someone's trying to pretend like they're a class act, but they're on a miss on a mission and they're very touchy about their emotions or situation with you they're slacking off and definitely second best when it comes to a situation their secrets someone being flashy their secrets when it comes to a family situation here someone is definitely hiding it not wanting to reveal something when it comes to something they took time to invest in yet i feel this energy did it Without hesitation. Now you're allowing them to feel these consequences. The cause and effect of their actions. And they regret being petty with you. Because someone is now realizing how you truly cared. Someone's trying to pretend like you were overbearing. You were doing too much. And now they're stressed out that you're doing nothing at all now. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? So there's definitely some insider situations going on here with someone. I feel like there's some rivalry. Someone is still not tuning into self. Wow. Someone needs to be protected. Someone is definitely trying to be more like you. But doesn't have the power anymore. Someone's doing some negative energy like third eye situation someone's boasting talking about the truth behind someone's back as well as laughing someone's being laughed at this is not your energy but someone is upset really upset how they took the bait ashamed how others are laughing about their outcome their downfall their losses someone lost their job or someone is begging for a ride or someone's upset because of what they had and what they lost. Someone feels like you don't need them or want them. But I feel you're just needing change. You're being mature about this situation. It's been a long road and you're tired of the secrets. You want more love. You want more change. And this energy needs to stop giving you the silent treatment. And I feel this energy has been stuck in their ways for so long. It's just become a bad habit. They're tired of a rivalry. They're tired of trying to fight their way through something. But they regret also letting go of you. Something was very harsh. And I also feel like the last conversation or communication that you had with them did not go very well. Someone is still sitting in a space where they're still trying to justify or make excuses for their, their ways or their habits. They're still on the fence because they're not ready to commit. This is someone who is not ready to grow up and be the person they need to be. They feel like there's too many other choices. They can't decide. But as I said before, they're in bad company. Something is about to be a public shaming. If this energy hasn't already walked into some type of situation, they're still trying to ride something out. But there's too much competition. There's too much rivalry. There's too much jealousy behind the scenes. And someone's trying to keep them in a box. Someone's trying to hold them back. 
And I feel like they're not truly aware of it right now because they're so manipulative themselves. They have tunnel vision. Someone has tunnel vision when it comes to their boastful ways and they're still trying to ride something out. They won't admit their feelings. This energy feels like love is too complicated. Love is too humiliated. They feel Who trapped forgot? by Three something. I feel like they're trapped by bad company. They're not wanting to express the fact that they took the wrong path. In fact, I feel wherever they are, someone's condescending. Condescending and manipulative towards them. Pretending to be superior. That could also be their energy. But someone needs help. Someone's being reprimanded. Someone is talking over them. And someone needs to stop pre pretending that someone else is not being vindictive. This energy is living in a fantasy and playing dumb. Someone is living in a fantasy and playing dumb to twisted beliefs. Low key. Someone knows that someone else is hating on them, but they're still acting like they don't see it. Someone is sticking around in a situation because they don't have their own resources. They don't have their own stability and they're getting low on finances. They know that the people around them are giving them fake love, but this energy is sticking around because it's just easier to deal with the situation. People are just smiling in each other's face and, and hurting each other behind it, each other's back. Yet and still this energy is pretending like they don't know you. This energy is pretending like they don't know you because they are still unawakened to themselves. They're sabotaging things. Someone or someone else is sabotaging something in their energy or at work because they have unhealthy boundaries. There's a lot of unfiltered chaos here. Chaos and confusion for someone who is throwing shade at you. But I feel this energy is projecting their hate or their energy onto you because they can't do anything about their current situation. Someone has lost control and they're not talking about how they truly feel. But this energy is truly easily misguided. They misplaced their trust. They put their trust in the wrong people. And this is why there is unhealthy boundaries for someone who is truly unawakened. This energy is pretending like they don't know you because they don't want you to know what they're dealing with. They're still trying to blend in. They have some type of Peter Pan syndrome where they don't want to grow up. And someone is getting off on their on their failure, on their sabotage. Someone's getting off on the fact that they are sabotaging their life. They're using other others' resources or someone else is using their resources. It's all about money. It's all about gain here. And someone is still trying to get the sympathy. Embellishing a story, but something has already known. Something is known that someone else is dead weight or ratchet. This could be this energy realizing something about someone else or someone realizing it about them. But someone definitely regrets acting like what they had with you was never worth it. This energy was being vain, big headed, all smiles when they know they were sitting in a space of misery. Now this energy is on a deep downfall. Many of you, you're wondering why this energy has yet to reach out. It's because they're still trying to pretend or make it seem like things are working when it's completely not. I feel like this fetish with wanting attention or being around these fake friends are also keeping them big-headed, vain, and lost. Still not standing up for self and still lacking a lot of boundaries. But I don't feel it's keeping them from thinking about you. They're just too selfish to stand in their power. This is someone who is still codependent or still heavily reliant on old ways of thinking. Let's see some more energy here. Holy Spirit, the final messages here. Someone feels like they need a vacation to be happy. It's too much jealousy, too much competition among people they thought were friends, family, people they thought were close bonds. Now they regret pretending to be a baller. They want to meet up with you. They want to talk to you, but they feel like you don't have any words for them. And they don't really know what to say either. 
They know what they did to the love that you had was over the top. And that Yet this energy is still dreaming of you. While this energy is trying to refuse you in the 3D, meaning in their waking moments, they're pretending not to want you, pretending not to think of you. So they're doing it in their sleeping moments. This energy is not just daydreaming about you. This energy is waking up in the nighttime. Hmm. Someone knows the choices they made were wrong. They just don't know how to make it right. They don't know how to make things right. They're still kind of vain, empty about something, empty about their own worth, not very, um, they don't really rely on their own opinion. They're doing something very excessively here as well, and that's causing them to lose themselves in something. This is a risk taker energy. Something unexpected is coming up here with it when it comes to birthing something. This could be a new life or a new idea. Someone is wanting to take a risk. It could be your energy or theirs. But I definitely feel this is someone who wants to come back into your energy. Someone wants to come back to a connection. They're wondering if you're still waiting. But they know they broke a lot of promises. Yet I feel a storm is coming when it comes to their focus. What they're focusing on. The, the temptations. Wow. The temptations of wanting both situations. So... I definitely feel someone who thought they were wild and free and taking risk is now dealing with an unexpected situation. Something that they didn't take seriously that is now a heavy burden. I definitely feel someone thought they were wild and free. Hmm. And they moved on. Someone moved on from a soul connection, a bond, something that should have been purpose purposeful in their life. Yet I feel this energy is no longer mirroring you and they're hopeless about something, hopeless about a, a connection, severing a karmic tie. But I feel this energy was not sorry about something, not sorry about clearing their energy until something fell apart. So someone's upset about you breaking ties because of their shortcomings they feel like you should have stuck around if you truly love them but i feel it's just their ego speaking out they know they make this connection a dark situation this is someone who broke your heart now they're pretending like their heart is broken but i feel if their heart is broken it's because they're the ones who caused the chaos i feel you had to do what was necessary P possibly you're not sorry about it now this energy is sinking in despair, emotion, because truth be told, they're missing you. Holding on to the hope that they can soon speak out about something, but this energy right now, they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed by the energy surrounding them and they're emotionally unavailable just to get through, just to get through the day. The dark dots. The bad boy image. It's all for show. It's all to keep from feeling what they're going through. So someone is giving in to what's keeping them lost. For some of you, there is some childhood wounds here. Someone's shocked by the fact that the cycles are still repeating when it comes to family. I also feel like someone is... Shocked by the family issues. Something they didn't see before. In a situation. They want to say. Or they want to speak up and say I'm sorry. They feel like you won't even take it. You won't even hear it out. Something has become too much of a. A repeated cycle. A routine. So this energy has isolated themselves. This energy is isolating themselves in an overwhelming situation, which is causing them to be more depressed. I feel like they're not speaking out because nothing will go right. They feel like nothing I say will work. Everything I say is wrong. They're still in that victim mentality. But I feel something very shocking is about to happen. Hmm. Wow, 
Wow, there's mental instability when it comes to friends with benefits, abusive relationships. If someone's still isolated and crazy about a connection, they're hoping you're still waiting, but they're knowing there's too many broken promises. They were never a man or a woman of their word. Now they are dealing with a storm or a toxic cycle that needs their attention and their focus. There's a lot of temptations, a lot of weaknesses ahead of them. Haters, haters who are watching a romantic connection that needs to be disconnected for a perfect match or reunion. Yet someone needs to do the shadow work and reject what is causing more damage. I feel like someone needs to reject the fantasy. Stop trying to sweet talk their way out of situation and truly get down to the root of things. Something is about to happen in divine timing. Someone is definitely isolating themselves and refusing to make a change. But someone's about to say these words to you. And for many of you, you feel like you'll never hear those words. But something is about to get deep. They've they're in the energy of feeling like they're not going to stress about it, but something is about to get deep and they have no control over this. Someone in their energy is definitely in disguise. This is a dangerous energy here and someone needs to go in meditation or in deep counseling to figure something out. But for some of you, you know they'll never get that help. But something is brewing and they want to meet up. They feel lonely. They feel like someone's done some type of witchcraft on their life. But this energy needs to find a new perspective to be stronger. I feel like there could be fast movement. Someone's impatient, possibly getting readings on a love story, a connection. But someone is still holding on, but still... In a cycle of manipulation. Someone is realizing these family issues are deeper than they thought. They regret giving in once again. I just feel like the energy here is just keep saying to themselves, man, I did it again. Keep falling for it. I just keep falling. This energy is beating themselves up behind the scenes, but this energy will never give you that energy. It's almost like they don't want to give you the glory. They they are still sitting in this energy of wanting to keep up an image, something that is false or, or fake, something that is keeping them lost, and they still don't see it. Let's get some final energy here. Someone who's nosy is keeping them ungrounded. Someone is purposely keeping them, them in this cycle. But I also feel there is ancestors who are about to step in here. Someone is overly emotional. And this energy is also playful. So this energy is very stubborn. They're stubborn and in balance. There's a lot of anxiety. And they're being playful to hide their fears. This is someone who is overly emotional and lacking the confidence. And they could be kind of moody because of it. But I also feel like their energy is in Mars. There's a lot of motivation and passion within them. But someone is keeping them raw, unmotivated, stubborn, and criticizing the wrong things in life. This is someone who is wanting to keep them cautious at taking a leap of faith. But something is about to push them towards you. Something is about to push them towards the right energy. This energy is curious. Yet I also feel like they're still trying to fit in and adapt. I feel like they're trying to fit in and adapt, but they're still not being present. Because of all the sudden changes. Someone is needing to move around. There's, there could be a job loss. Someone lost their car or there's some Good type of that. disconnect. Um, whatever this is, it's a sudden change. A sudden change when it comes to a toxic environment. Someone could be kicked out because of a lot of drama there's no peace there's no space there's no structure there's no discipline and someone is going through a karmic storm because of it this is a distorted energy who is weak to something they regret being weak to someone who they now see is very controlling craving power self-absorbed or lacking structure. Someone feels like they went the wrong way and 
they regret it, but something is is set in stone. They feel like you will never accept them the way that you used to, all because of their lack of direction, lack of ideas, or lack of apology. Someone was very hostile in trying to push you away because of their insecurities and conflict inside, but this energy is trying to grow from it. They just don't have the tools or the energies around them to support it. This is why they're still sitting in a space of drama. Emotionally immature, weak, needy, bitter, repressed energy, depressed, spiteful. This energy is drained. And this is why they're still sitting in a space of insecurity because their third eye chakra is blocked. There's no wisdom. There's no clarity. There's no discernment. This is someone who is coming out as a wasted talent because they've given it into temptation, self-gratification. They've done a lot of things to distort themselves. So there's something going on that, that was unexpected they're trying to deal with and possibly hide with you. They're trying to burn the evidence, but something is just going to be exposed. Someone's going to have to deal with something. But there's a lot of fear, doubt, anxiety attached to it. Someone has a lot of expectations. They want to ask for your help. They want to ask for your forgiveness. They want to ask for your guidance, but something is crumbling and they can't stop it. There's money issues. Something is stagnated and they want to talk, but they want to know, do you? There's some deleted messages here. This energy has called you and hung up. This energy has done a lot that is unknown. You feel like this energy hasn't tried at all, but they have. They just done it from a very unknown space. They don't want to put themselves out there emotionally to be rejected. Someone doesn't want you to call them out on their lies. They're sitting in this poverty mindset where someone has definitely hit rock bottom. For some of you, this could be rock bottom of homelessness or just living with family or a poor mindset or a mental prison. Take it how it resonates. This energy is trying to come up, but there's not a lot of plans. Even though this energy is always strategizing when it comes to being authentic this energy seems to be lost but this energy is going through a dark night of the soul as i said before their ancestors are stepping in and even though they're refusing something something is about to change regardless of what they want this energy has a purpose that they need to fulfill yet this energy is delayed something has slowed down because of their self-doubt their worry there's no action and someone needs a reality check. I feel like their ancestors are stepping in because someone is caught up. There's some type of blow up. A secret is exposed about someone's lifestyle and they need a reality check. Someone needs a reality check about an illusion or a missed opportunity or poor choices, a lack of choices, or just things that they have been juggling with no morals, no clarity, no alignment. Because there is definitely a tower moment. A tower moment when it comes to mental vengeance, confusion, someone being deceptive or even naive to their own purpose. Because something has definitely backfired and this is why they feel cursed. This energy feels like something has cursed their life because of these missed opportunities, this bad luck, tower moments of destruction, trauma, disaster, losses, shock. There's also mental or verbal abuse going on behind the scenes. As I said before, someone is truly taking advantage of a situation here. And this energy feels like something is being exposed and their life is being tore apart. But really, the toxic things that they've been sending out is only being returned. This energy is experiencing a roadblock here. Because a prophecy was not fulfilled. Someone did not stand up for what they were supposed to be or what they were supposed to do with you. Now someone has reached some type of dead end with bad choices, conflict, obstacles. Someone knows they went the wrong way. And now they're dealing with the dark side to someone else's unhealthy choices, ego, or personality. Someone did not break the chain. So they're staying stuck, st stubborn, 
unmotivated and dealing with a dark sense of self as well. There's a lot of rage, envy, prideful energy here. Impulsive ways and someone craving to control something. This could be the energies around them or even their energy, but there's little faith in this rat race. This is someone who is complacent because they've made so many bad choices. They don't want to make another move. Something is unhealed when it comes to family issues and this energy feels like they're stuck in the matrix. But I feel the fact is, is they're unaware of their abilities. They feel like you found a new love, a new choice, a new sense of balance, your own closure. But for many of you, you're just waiting for another sense, a new sense of harmony that could be in something new or just something new with them. A restart. Someone feels like you won't you won't let them forget it. Someone feels like you won't let them forget how weak they were. You won't let them forget how they screwed this up. This is why the hesitation is here. They know they screwed this up and you feel like they'll never change and they don't have any remorse when they truly do. They have a heart. It's just cold right now. This energy doesn't want to reflect on what they've done. They know they were brutal. They were a dictator. They were a tyrant. Someone knows they abused their authority in their position. They're just in a space where they're about to deal with it. This will be emotions that they are not familiar with yet. These are emotions that need to be dealt with. Situations that need to be resolved if they ever intend to find their way. And if someone is going through a karmic storm here, there's a lack of success, a burden, because someone is dealing with a very unhealthy side to a very dark ego, impulsive who ways of someone who is still sitting in a space of destruction. Wanting to communicate here, sitting in the space of Mercury, but they're still not being practical or rational, reasoning when it comes to the past, a transformation, or the messages that are being received from the Most High. This is why they have stayed stuck going through this karmic storm. And trust me, when it rains, it definitely pours. Things are going in messing up left and right this energy feels like harmony will never become a balance for them harmony will never become wish fulfillment it will never become their life this is someone who is going through a lot of cause and effect when it comes to karma and trust me they're paying the piper this energy is definitely in a space of burden a lack of success, no closure, and realizing those that they have surrounded themselves with are also a culprit, a tie to the darkness. They regret what they are reaping. They regret what they are reaping when it comes to a soul tribe. Someone wants to cut off these fake friends or these karmic partners. Someone they feel like will never be satisfied, but I feel someone is giving them the same energy they gave. This is someone's karma. This is someone's karma for the mind games or the temptation. Someone's being lost in envy or toxic ways. Someone wants to cut something off. Someone wants to cut something off. They know they have now off outgrown. This is why they're at a crossroads, going through a karmic storm, and tower moments are going off in their life because some things need to be let go. Regardless of what they want and what they feel, things are about to be lost and lost for good. This is someone who wanted a sense of belonging. This is why they took a chance on you. Now they're trying to hold on to what's stagnating them, but it's also what's keeping them from being accepted. You're coming out as a light worker, someone who is an old soul or someone who is spiritual or fearless. You could also be a teacher of some sort. Please take it how it resonates, but I definitely feel this energy chose money over love. They're very hasty with their decision, very rigid, poor decision making when it comes to a major choice, a soulmate, a kindred spirit. 
This energy was being materialistic, stingy, possessive, breadcrumbing you, being stubborn on purpose. Yet now they're wanting to come out as the king of cups when it comes to a divine union they walked away from. This is someone who is being exposed. They feel like they're being caught up and they just want to return home. Someone knows for a fact the grass was never green on the other side. Now they want the balance of the yin and the yang. They know the difference. Someone knows the difference now and they feel like they're emotionally mature enough to deal with you. They want to be a peacemaker. They want to be loyal to you. They feel like they've become wiser after this storm. Hmm. They feel like there's a sense of sadness and pain from what they left behind. No more fight. I feel like you have no more fight. This is why you're being rude or malicious. But I feel this energy has been angry and blunt about their lives for too long. This is a very poor communicator when it comes to their emotions and what they truly feel. This energy hides what they truly feel because they don't want you to know how much love they truly have. How much of a hole you truly have. But this energy has a lot of jealousy. A lot of jealousy. An intense energy of, I should have used my intuition. But for many of you, this energy is sitting in a space right now where they're about to step into these tower moments. They're already going through a karmic storm, but I feel things are about to get worse. And it's about to push this energy into a space of confession because they know they caught up they know they got lost in this they just don't know how to get out of it i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading and has gained some food for thought if so let me know by commenting down below or liking this video i hope to see you again guys bye